But first of all, Jason Randall got up early with all those cyclone crazies. He has more on the absolute madness that is college game day. The makers of Hilton Magic had been lined up for some time, even at 7 a.m. Saturday morning. So excited, so excited. Signs in hand, already decked out in game day attire. It's tension getter, I like it. For a game that wouldn't start until more than 12 hours later. <laughs> and to finally get the recognition for Iowa State and have that here, that's bigger than anything else. Recognition at a national level, in the form of an ESPN College Game Day showcase. In front of 6,000 roaring fans, something Iowa State hasn't seen ever before. Of course, national television exposure like this couldn't be done right without the mayor, the coach, the legend, Coach Fred Hoiberg, aka Swagberg. It went nuts. It always goes nuts when Fred does anything. ESPN Game Day telecasts are known for their outlandish sides. The crowd here in Ames didn't disappoint. Oh, we're in his head. Yeah. We are in his head. <laughs> so he better watch out tonight. For fans, the national exposure means national recognition. This is going to help publicity for the program. And he's going to take truth. us to the next level. Get those recruits out of high school. We're going to get it. Especially with Duke and Louisville playing today, to have them pick and come to Iowa State, it's yeah. amazing. Even ESPN personalities took notice. The, the support here is so passionate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A fan base that grabbed the spotlight Saturday and didn't let go. The pride they have in Iowa State uh, is really cool. I mean, it's really cool. I think that came through. Now, if that ESPN national spotlight didn't clue you in that tonight is a big game, take a listen to this. Some viewers on Facebook are telling us that tickets are going for between $400 to $500. Andy, back to you.